Hey guys! So, we're back at it. Back in Shrouded, back in Embervale. And today we have two goals. We are gonna try and get the uh, carpenter. And we're gonna get the farmer. So, first, first we're gonna get the farmer first. And uh, because it's a little bit trickier to go down to the, uh, the carpenter. But yeah, we'll look at that when we get to that point. So first we just got a fast travel. Let's, did I put a waypoint so we can see where to jump? No, yeah, thankfully I aborted it. So you can see there's a little bit of a deadly shroud here uh, and we can't get past that uh, in any way. At all. So I'm gonna see if we can kind of navigate around, but let's just get to it. <clears throat> it would be nice to actually be able to glide over there, uh, but maybe we can just walk most of the way. We can just get the flame shrine here. So you can see it's right over there. But you know me, I like getting loot. So uh, let's just go through here and see how that goes. Level 7 bow. Well, let's compare that. We have a level 3 that's legendary. But this has 15 power, so I'm guessing this is has not been upgraded, so this is better anyways. Can't wait to get high level so she don't get, you know, out of breath so fast. Oh yeah, we forgot this. So one of the ways you can uh, actually sprint a lot more is going out the survival way. So let's uh, take the endurance. Let's take the speed. Let's take uh, extra stroud time. Nah, but we can take a little more here. So we got one point left. Yeah, sure, take this one as well. So, a lot of endurance. But it does help you in the beginning where you're running a lot. So. Let's just go up here and have a look. <laughs> So you can see we have three locks again. Now, if I remember correctly, this one is actually not too bad. Let's see. Because I figure out you can actually cheese it a little bit. Um, if I find the place again. Ah, uh, where is it? Well, let's look for the first one and then we might come across the others. Um, because if I remember correctly, I actually managed to shoot two of them with arrows, so you don't have to run around too much. Oh, right now. Oh, stamina. Mm. There we go. So we'll just wait now. Just until we get a bit more. Otherwise we can't climb up. And... One jump. Come on. 
good? Over there. Whoops. I think I can just shoot it from here. No, not this one. Whoops. Oops. One, do stop. Yep. Oh, was it this one? Let's see. No, I wasn't in this ruin then, so we need to get over there. Uh, oh yeah. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> well, thankfully the uh, respawn point is close. And... Oh, items are right here. No! That was annoying. Well... Let's just uh, get some water back inside this belly. And maybe... We don't have any extra stamina stuff. Nope. Oh, all good. Basically, we need to double jump here. It's two. And well, let's just smash these up because there could be potions in them. Unlucky. Bone meal I would actually like to get, so we'll ditch meat. Take that. Out and around. Then we get here. Yep, last one. Let's recognize the pattern here. Ouch, that was close. All three open. And you can't. You can't, you shouldn't try and jump down here because you'll die. So, uh, I would say that maybe this could be the best option. Of course, you could just fly. Let's try and do that, actually. Uh, what am I saying? What I meant to say is that if you do jump, be sure to fly a little bit. There we go. Uh, anything else? What is that? Ooh, a big healing potion. Let's toss away some you know fiber. We can always get fiber. Whoops. Okay. So we jump and we fly. Dear hunter or oh, farmer. So that's farmer in the back. Let's have a look here because there's a problem uh, or a challenge is the right word. 
this guy down here, we have a lot of the shroud around this area here. And yeah, we need to find a way to actually cross this because this area is, is also red. It doesn't show us red on the map, but if you touch it, you die. Uh, but let's go and uh, find our way around. And see what we can come and come up with. It looks a bit red. That's not what I remember, but maybe he's for another level. Hope not. That would make it really annoying. But it might be the case. That we actually need to raise our level a little bit. Or maybe raise the altar, actually. That's another thing you should also plan. Um, increasing the altar level and the strength. It looks like it's enshrouded in deadly, and right now I'm just at 1 1 with the altar. So maybe we could check out what we need and just fix that. Uh, go back, we can always. It wasn't too difficult getting here, so it's no problem. Hope you will stick around, anyways. So, time to commune. We are altar level 2. Okay, so that's not the problem. Flame level 2. These big mushroom kind of things. And to these, yeah, these as well. You can see that was very fast getting this. One bone, we have that, I know that. We have one bone. Away from the flame. Excellent. Find the two ancient obelisks. Thank you. So right now we are at four altars possible. Character attribute bonuses. We got one. Trout passage level two. So that helps. That's actually what we wanted to upgrade. And that should be enough to get to the carpenter. Just fly away. No, oh, but we still need to work. be careful with that. So it, it does mean you can walk on that now. Um, just so you know. We can fly over it. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> no! Oh my god! How careless. Go away. So we want to go all the way over there, but we need to cross this red stuff. So if we can land safely, 
maybe actually just go, keep going a little bit. Let's see if we have safe passage another way. Worry, sounds like trouble. We will have to go through it. Salt! And this is also what you found in the salt mines I mentioned in the other video. So basically you will have caves full of this stuff. I think this is the place. Oh, there's uh... You know what? Let's go get that. I just want to land safely here somewhere. Oh, that was almost too much. Oh! Difficult. I hate those slippery slopes. <laughs> wow, this is turning into a real wipe fest. But we'll get there, I promise. I was... Almost poorly timed. There we go. And let's get some. Get a fill axe in. Get a damage multiplier in case we need more. Those nasties. Wisp of light, not necessary. Oh, we're enshrouded, so. Let's get moving. Kill this thing. this route and then we can use this one so now we have a little safe spot here at least did I not take everything oh I, w I wasn't even taking my stuff was I This is annoying. Wow, I gotta get back. Huh. And now we can go around to this place. Over there. Uh.
Wow, okay, finally we got rid of the hose. So we can move on. Uh, need to wait for that, otherwise we're gonna be timed out. Come on. I've had it with this place. No. So I actually think if you don't have any bombs, that would be the easiest way. You can get through here with the pickaxe. annoying thing. And there we have the carpenter. Ah, oh, finally, right? <laughs> carpenter in the back and we need to use a torch here to see if we forgot anything at all because this was too much effort not to do it properly um, okay I think. oh we're still shrouded or yeah we are so we need to get out Outside, so we can fast travel from here. Ah, finally. Sorry, that was totally my own fault for being so slubby. Alchemist hey, hey. is probably happy. Oh, yeah, because we found mycelium. So let's uh, bring out the summoning stuff. And there we go. Yet again, let's place the cabin. So we're just going to place them in here for now. This guy. And the farmer lady. Woohoo! Whatever it is, I can enchant it. So basically, now they all have needs and wants, which kind of leads you more into the uh, storyline quest and getting out in the world. And uh, yeah, I would suggest you start looking at what they have to uh, to offer you, and also what you can build them. So yeah, we have all of them now. Oh, the blacksmith is also pleased, of course. But let's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's because this guy took his chest, so we gotta go find it at some point. But for now, yeah. We got all the characters. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that, even though it took a little bit longer than I hoped it would. Now they're all here. And uh, I think in the next episode, we're going to spend a little bit of time just building a little bit in the base and stuff like that. You know, making a few upgrades and so on. So, but I hope you enjoyed this episode and then we'll come around for the next. Uh, so, yeah, please uh, like and subscribe. We we'll really appreciate that. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.